Hey, hi, genius. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Kalisha and I am a registered dental hygienist. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you all a day in my life. So as you know, we're on our fourth day of Vlogtober. So happy Thursday. Thank y'all for tuning in with me all this week. I hope you all have been enjoying the content. As you know, this job can be very repetitive. So I'm trying to spice it up. And although I'm sharing the same information, I'm trying to do it in different ways. So if you all have any ideas, I'd love to hear them down in the comment section. But right now what I'm doing is just getting myself prepared for my very first patient by just putting on my headlamp, my um, protective eyewear, and just getting my room set up. After getting everything set up, it's time to look over my schedule for the day. And on this particular day, I did have four morning patients and three afternoon patients, one being a new patient. Right now what I'm doing, and I always do this, I like to just check my patient's insurance, make sure that insurance is gonna cover um, anything that we're doing throughout the day so that if it doesn't and I still recommend it, I'll, I can let the patient know upfront. I saw this patient needed an FMX, which is a full mouth series. So I went ahead and got all of the trinkets to get that done and got it set up. I always love to be 100% prepared once I get my patient seated so that I'm not scrambling trying to get the things that I need. series consists of about 18 images and I'm curious to know how long does it usually take you to take an FMX it takes me roughly three minutes and that's you know that's on a bad day I feel like I fly through those x-rays so quickly but um, I finished up with my patient at this point and I'm breaking down my operatory and setting it right back up if you all love cleaning videos and you find them very satisfying I have a video on my channel of me doing a deep extreme clean of my operatory and I'm sharing some organization and storage hacks with you all so be sure to check out that video. It's 8.52 and I have exactly eight minutes until I have to get my next patient back. So this is the time I spend really writing my patient notes, um, jotting down, um, documentation is so important. So I like to do this if I can behind each appointment so that I don't forget anything important. After finishing my last patient's note, I like to go ahead and look at my next patient's chart. 
I like to review any alerts that they have. Um, I like to see what we did and what we talked about on the last visit. And I like to look at their ledger to see um, if I need x-rays or not. I did see that we already took a full mouth last visit, so no x-rays are due today. So I've already got that patient done and it's about 9.42 now. And before I get my 10 o'clock back, I wanted to get some instruments. I didn't have any in my room, so I went to the hygiene um, drawer and got all of my instruments and we're going to take them back to the room and get them set up. I also noticed while I was in here that I didn't have any um, mock tray setups right there. So I'm going to get some printer paper and I'm about to make a few of those. This just helps me um, stay ahead of my schedule. I like to go ahead and make um, enough mock tray setups for at least the patients I have for the remainder of the day. I also have a video about time management skills and how to stay ahead of your schedule on my channel. So I'll be sure to have it in the card section for you. Unfortunately, my 11 o'clock patient did not show up, although they were confirmed, but that happens sometimes. So I'm just getting undressed at this point, grabbing my phone, about to clock out and head to lunch. y'all so we're back in action on my one o'clock patient I did have to take four bite wings but she had a chief complaint today that on her lower left she was getting a lot of throbbing dull aches so when I took a PA of number 19 look at that large infection so I was just showing her what was going on and talking her through what I saw I'm um, just prepping her for what the dentist might say um, and just letting her see how the x-ray looked the last time she came in and how it looks um, now. Fast forward to three o'clock, we are now on our last patient of the day. And this patient is also a new patient and we always get panoramics along with full mouth series on our new patients. So that's what I'm setting up for right now. We are finally done. We are at the end of the day. Q's happy dance. Who else does a happy dance at the end of their shift? I always do because I'm super excited to go home. But before we do, it's time to um, write some patient notes, do the clinical assessments, and hard chart. So if you have a split screen like mine, it definitely helps when you're doing this. I'm able to just put my x-rays on the top screen and keep the chart on the bottom screen. If not, you can just go through your x-rays and write them down like I did here. Just as you can see, number two has a root canal crown, three has an MO composite, four has a DO amalgam, so on and so forth. But you have to chart this in the computer as well. So in just a second, I'm going to pull up her hard chart and you'll be able to see everything laid out. And over to the right are procedure buttons where the crowns, root canals and fillings and things are. So as you can see, I have number two highlighted. I just put the root canal in and the crown. The blue is existing work that was done when she came to our office. The red is things that she needs. And the um, filled in ones are amalgams and the open ones are composites. So all of that just helps us to know where we're looking at if the next time the patient comes back. If you all are interested in a more detailed video on how to read x-rays and hard chart, be sure to let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to make that video for you during Vlogtober. So we are at the end of our day today. Right now I'm just putting down everything I did and totaling it out for the day, seeing how much I made. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Also remember again, it is Vlogtober, so be sure that your post notifications are turned on so that you're notified when tomorrow's video goes live be sure to let me know that you're loving these videos by giving this video a thumbs up share it with a friend subscribe and again turn on those post notifications because you'll be getting videos coming your way every single day this month see y'all tomorrow bye